So here I am today, and I'm about to introduce Dr. Aryeh Avni, who is the head of a party here in Israel, and I want to welcome him in. Shalom, Dr. Avni. I will be asking Dr. Avni questions in Hebrew. He will be answering in Hebrew, and then I will be translating for everyone in English. So, so Dr. Avni is saying a very powerful sentence to begin this interview. He goes, my personal situation is fine, but I am very, very sad. And it's only because of how sad I am. Um, I imagine he's referring to this situation today and how the state of Israel and the world is dealing with Corona. It's only because of how sad he is that he is running for the Israeli Knesset, for Israel's parliament. And the name of his party is ra uh, And that actually comes from a pasuk in the Torah. Chavod, what is the pasuk? El na ra na la. Right, and, it, right. and, and, and it, it is a special uh, a, a saying from the Torah, which is basically us calling out for to, to God to help heal us. But I'm a big believer. God helps those who help themselves. And here we're going to talk about uh, with Dr. Avni about how we can help ourselves. Hayom hasadot menutzalim atom mosifim lem realim ve mineralim bekamuyot gedolot kdel atzmiyah agvaniyah ve pilpel ve chasa ve chule ve chule kol ma hashana chokonim kshem beitzem hayom chasri magnesium chasri avatz. Okay, very interesting. So Dr. Avni is saying God gave us the sol- gave us the solution already on how to be healthier people by taking care of the land. And that's that solution to allow the land to rest every seventh year. The land needs that rest as well in order to produce healthy produce for us. Yet, unfortunately, today in, in the land of Israel, most, if most, vast majority of the land They do not rest on the seventh year. They are worked the seventh year. The land never gets to rest. And instead, in order to allow that to happen, many many poisonous materials are put into the land in order to give us uh, produce for it to look good, for for the land to continue uh, generating this produce. And again, we're going against the law of nature that is supposed to protect us and be healthy individuals. And once again, we see this as a direction of pre- not only preventative medication of how we eat, but also going to the source of where our na- of how our natural produce is produced and taking care of the land so that what comes out of the land is really healthy for us. Because unfortunately today, many, many of the produce is not as healthy as it should be because of what we're doing to the land so that it can continue, continuously continue. To, to grow our produce. Ken, bevakasha, tamshich. Od nekuda meanyenet, shelo maspik, shanakho lo maaminim ba yoshev ba mumim, mele u solach lano, aval de lakakhat tiras, betapukhe adama, vemuzarim akhirim, velasot lahem manipulatiot genetio, ze pesha klapay ha yoshev ba mumim. Okay, interesting. Vatem shotkin? So Dr. Avni is going further, he goes, uh, all right, <laughs> we already discussed the land itself, but even further than that, to go on a tangent, there are so many, uh, uh, so much produce, and he gives examples of corn or potatoes and many, many others, that uh, mu- uh, genetic mutations are done to them. Again, uh, Dr. Avni is pointing out that is not to the benefit of our health, taking this produce and 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 doing genetic mutations to them. That is also... To, to our deficiency and to our own health, and why isn't why, why is everyone quiet about that? That, well, that? That's not the way it's supposed to be. God created the land to produce. Why are we genetically mutating the produce not to our benefit? <laughs> אבל אנחנו היינו באיזון מושלם, ביני לבין מלפפון, ביני לבין בשר של כבש, ביני לבין, וכל שינוי גנטי מוציא אותנו מהאיזון. 
הוא כל כך עדין, אבל הגוף שלנו לא אוהב את זה. Okay, very interesting. Do- Dr. Avni is saying that we used to have the correct balance, the, the natural way of life uh, in more simpler times when we used to work the land and we had to work the land and, and things were natural. There was a balance between, between, uh, between our bodies, our health, uh, the land, and uh, we have lost that balance with, all, with, with progress and all these genetic mutations and uh, actual poisons that we're, we're using to, and putting whether in the land or in, or, or in food, we have lost and we're, when, and, and we're messing up that very, very um, sliver of balance that is necessary so that we can be healthy and remain healthy. Ken v'chavod. <laughs> שאלתם אותי על המחלה עצמה, שאלתם אותי על היושב במומים שאני מעריץ אותו, ככל שאני יותר לומד, אני יותר מוקסם מיכולותיו, איך הוא ידע בתוך מיטוכונדריה, איך הוא מעביר את האלקטרון ממקום למקום 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 ויוצר אנרגיה. Dr. Avni saying, yes, we, we, we've spoken enough. We spoke, about, uh, we spoke about all the issues. And as I am, still, I am still learning, I am learning of how unbelievably amazing God is in his creation of the human body in terms of how he developed the body with electrodes that do this and that and the immune system that this and that. It is the most unbelievable system ever created And I'm just going to add to this, and we as humans don't put enough trust in the unbelievable, smartest computer ever created in the universe, which is the human body by God himself. And if we'd only put more effort into trusting this smart computer, which is the human body, and using this smart computer to heal itself and help prevent the Uh, uh, illnesses as opposed to using unnatural and sometimes poisonous and genetic mutations uh, that are not good for the body and are not using the natural uh, uh, strength of the god-given computer system that is the human body uh, we would be we would be in a much better place if we did put more trust in God's creation of the human body he's, he's learning so much about Uh, more and more and, and becoming so much more in awe of God and his creation even even though he's not a religious person you don't have to be a religious person uh, to, to see that we're created and to believe the unbelievable ability that our bodies are that, we, that it all works whenever it works we always have to be thankful and it's really miraculous that's why I'll add like as a, as a as a believing Jew I teach my children and I teach other people that one of the most important blessings we say, Is the, is the blessing after we go to the bathroom. It's a very simple, Asher Yatsar et Adam Bechachmo Bevro Vo Nekavim Nekavim Chalulim Chalulim. Right, we've had such, such a simple blessing. We just went to the bathroom. Our, our bodies worked. We were able to extract what our bodies are not supposed to have. And it's not just taking that for granted. It's taking a moment and meditating and connecting with our creator, with the one who created our, our computer system, saying, thank you, God, that my body works. מה שאני רוצה להוסיף, שאת החלולים חלולים נקבים נקבים, שמתי באחד הפרקים האחרונים של הספר שלי, ובחרתם בחיים. כעת הוא בתרגום לאנגלית, בתרגום לרוסית, אני מקווה להגיע להמונים. מה שנאמר, אפילו אם נקב אחד נסתם, אפילו אם... בקיצור, היושב במורים, מלך העולם. תודה. Right. So Dr. Avni is saying, he's glad to hear me talking about this blessing because he put sentences of this blessing in one of his books, which is also in English. So I want to get information on how people no, can no. order it. No. So in one of his books, uh, he has this information about this blessing in a, in, a, in a book that he wrote in Hebrew that is in the process of being translated into English. I look forward to being in touch with you to get 
the link where people can order it both in Hebrew and in English on the internet or every, any language, give it to me when it's being translated. Right. So right now it's just in Hebrew, but he said that this, the, the, uh, one of the power of this blessing is saying, thanking God that, that our holes are working and that our pathways are working. And even if one of the holes or pathways is not working still, Thank you, God. And it's still having this appreciation. And it's really much, it's more for us. It's not, God doesn't need our blessing. This is my message. But it's, this blessing is more for us to internalize and appreciate how blessed we are that our bodies are working. Or if not everything's working, what is working is working. And he includes that in his book. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.